everybody, it's Gail from thehappystamper.com. Thanks for visiting with me today. So I am making some Halloween slash fall treat holders today. I'm making things to send to my kids at college. And one of the things I'm including in their package is the paper pumpkin for this month. Isn't this just beautiful? Oh my gosh, that foil leaf is spectacular. I don't know if you guys get paper pumpkin. I do. I love it. I used these for a party favor. We threw a dinner party Saturday night and I needed something to have on the plates, you know, just as a little favor. And so I whipped these up literally 15 minutes before our company arrived. They were that quick and easy to do. And they're beautiful. They looked so pretty on the table. If we're friends on Facebook, if not, go to the Happy Stamper on Facebook and, um, you know, get on there because I share all these really fun um, projects and things and different things than what I do here on YouTube. But Paper Pumpkin is wonderful. If you're not joined and signed up, I would highly recommend it. It is so much fun. So this was a really fun project and it's all embossed and it's beautiful. So while I'm on that theme, I thought I would share with you today this really fun project that I am making for my kids. And this is a apple cider little packet and little cup. And then I have this darling little leaf. And on the inside, I have a packet of apple cider and a cinnamon stick. And it's all wrapped up with our really cute, what do we call this? This is what we are calling our burlap ribbon. I didn't know if they were calling it like jute, but this is more of our jute. Um, and this we are calling jute twine. Yep. So anyways, I thought I'd share with you how I put this really cute project together, what I use. Um, so yeah, stick around and I'll show you what to do. Okay, I am starting with the Painted Harvest Designer Series paper. This is a beautiful set, just beautiful. So if you're interested, that is the product number. And again, it's called Painted Harvest and I love it. Love it, love it. I'm going to be doing some cutting with our die cut uh, Big Shot. I've also, I'm using our 6x8 cello bag. Sorry about the glare. This is the product number for those. I believe there's 50 in a pack, and I use these for everything. I send out my kits each month in a little packet like this. They're wonderful. Great to have on hand. So that's what I used to package up the apple cider and this adorable little cinnamon stick. Super duper cute. Because not everybody drinks coffee. You know, my daughter's in college, she doesn't drink coffee at all. So this is what I'm using. They're the spiced apple cider. I get these just at my local Jewel. I'm sure they have them at Walmart. And then I'm using the cinnamon sticks. These are just McCormick and they smell so good. Uh, but that's what I've used to fill my little package. So let's do that now, and then we can get that set across up, off to the side. So I'm just going to take my little apple cider packet. This stuff is delicious too. I don't know if you've tried it or not, but it is scrumptious. I have like a little piece of something on there. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a little cinnamon stick because you got to have a little cinnamon stick. Excuse my arm. I'm reaching for my tape. Got to have a little cinnamon stick for your hat. Hot apple cider. And then I'm just going to push it over to the far side of this and I am going to adhere some tape like so. And I'm just going to make this a little bit, just a skosh smaller, you know, so I don't have any excess. And I'm just going to take a little piece of scotch tape. You don't even see it on the back like that. And then I'm going to use a small piece of our jute twine and kind of gather this here and just tie a rough knot. a little bit higher so I'm not completely squishing 
the uh, hot apple cider. Okay, grab my scissors. Let me trim that down a little bit. Now, to save a little bit of time, I also have already gone ahead and I already die cut the sweet. This is from Colorful Seasons. It's a bundle in the um, idea book and catalog, but I've already cut that adorable leaf. And that, you guys know, I use that bundle all the time. And I'm just going to adhere this cute little isn't that so cute? That's cute just like that. I love that. All right, so let's set that off to the side here. So that's all ready to go. We're going to bring in our big shot, and I've got this all ready to go. I've gone ahead and I've cut the one side panel. Now one tip I have for you here, if you're using pattern paper, make sure your pattern is going up. You want to make sure that it, well, I do. It, it might not matter uh, to some folks, but... I like to have my pattern going up. And then I'm just gonna run this through my Big Shot. You'll hear those big clicks. And I'm gonna run it backwards too. And that's perfectly okay. Don't worry about those big clicks. I probably could have used a different, you're just gonna pop that out. So you're going to, um, this piece will have kind of hard to show the score marks, but you'll have this piece and then the die cut, cut also comes with a second piece for the other side, like so. Okay, so you're going to cut out this piece and you're going to cut out this piece. All right, and then while I have my die cutting piece out here, I'm going to die cut, there is my yellow. Here it is. I'm going to just do this ahead of time with a piece of yellow. Typically I would stamp first, but I'm just going to do this. This is an easy one to just stamp on. I'm going to stamp out and cut out my, my little cup lid, and I'm doing that in Delightful Daisy because it's delightful. All right, so we'll have that over there. And you guys know the drill. This is the coffee cup bundle. And it comes with the coffee cafe. I am also using Mary Cafe. This has the apple cider stamp in it, which I just love. And this is so cute. But that comes as a bundle and they also coordinate. All right, so now we've got all of that done just that out of the way. We can put this together and do our stamping. And I am going to start, oh, you know what? I'm going to have to cut my coffee cup. I'm going to have to cut my coffee cup. I'm going to use some pumpkin pie here for my apple cider cup. This is not a coffee cup. And I'm going to do that to the side here. And while I have this down, I am going to also do the inside part. I have so much stuff all over my desk. Do you guys get like this? I posted a picture of my craft area on my Facebook page. Oh my goodness, you guys, it like went ballistic. So many people commented and, you know, because I was like, hey, does anybody else's craft room look like this? Well, I'm glad to say, yes, they do. Yes, they do. I am not the only one. So that was a little bit of a relief. All right, I'm going to use the little, just this little leaf from this set. And I am going to use Delightful Dijon for that. And I'm also going to use Real Red. So I'm going to stamp my apple cider. Where is it? Here it is, little apple cider. Oop. I'm going to put that on that, move that over. I'm gonna use Real Red, and I'm just gonna stamp this adorable little apple cider right in the middle. Too, too cute. 
too cute. And like I said, you know, not everybody drinks coffee while it's wildly popular right now. And I am a coffee drinker. Not everybody is. So, you know, I'm making this for my daughter at college and my son. And they don't drink coffee. But they do drink apple cider. And there's nothing better in the fall. So I'm just going to decorate this just a skosh and then we will cut it out and sorry my nose I seem to have the sniffles I think we have some of the worst excuse me gotta have a little drink and I love fresh lemon and water oh my gosh it's so refreshing okay um the mold is super bad here in Chicago. Um, we've got really high temperatures and it's very, very bad. So that's why I am struggling with this. I'm going to bring in the little coffee cup here. This is such an adorable set. Golly, 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 I like it. And it makes for the cutest little gifts and things. I just thought this little package was so adorable. My guys will really like it. So for any of the non-coffee drinkers of America, this is a fun little alternative. All right, now I'm all done with that. There's our little coffee cup. Little coffee cup. Super cute. All right. So now we just got to throw this little thing together and it's good to go. I'm making all sorts of different little projects for my kiddos. I'm going to use a couple of pop dots and the burlap. So let's put that there. Let's stamp the lid real quick. Excuse me, this really knows. This is an easy one to just stamp right over. No worries, but it makes it gives the differentiate so you can see, you know, the little line here. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, then I am going to it's kind of hard to see the fold lines on here, but they're there. I promise I'm going to use our tear and tape. This stuff rocks you guys and it's really strong, strong adhesive. Um, hang on. I got to think this through a second because yeah, okay. Got to think it through. Got to think it through. As my husband always says, measure twice, cut once. Well, that's really not my thing, but I get what he's saying. So I do have to kind of think it through though beforehand. So then I'm just going to line this up. I think I'm going to fold this though real quick just so I can see where that is. Just along the edge here. And this tape is super duper strong. So make sure before you touch your papers together, you have it where you want it. And I like my flap to be on the outside. Some people like it on the inside. I like it on the outside. So you do whatever makes you and your little heart happy. And this is almost done. Uber, uber adorbs. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even, dang it out, dang it out. All right, you know what I'm going to do? Because I didn't even adhere that. I would have put my um, adhesive on there. I don't know why, because I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to hurry. I know my videos can get really super long. Okay, I am going to wrap the burlap around here and I'm going to just adhere this with a piece of tape pardon my arm again folks I'm just going to adhere this like that because my coffee I keep saying coffee cup but my cup is going to sit right there so that'll cover that up and then I'm going to just adhere some pop dots and I'm just going to cut a bit of this I am almost out of these, so, and I just got a Stampin' Up! order in, and oh my goodness, lots of good Christmas things and all sorts of fun stuff. Love it. All right, so that's going to go right there, and 
this little piece will go voila for the top. Sorry if I was out of frame there. That's going to be our little top piece. And then of course you got to have a little bit of burlap on the side here and nothing screams fall more than burlap. I love it. Super cute. And then that completes this adorable little gift for anybody on your fall list that perhaps is not a coffee drinker. Isn't that so fun, you guys? I think it's super cute. I love it, love it, love it. There's that one. Here's that one. I'll zoom in a skosh for you guys so you can see how cute and cute and cute they are. I think they're adorable. So there you have it, guys. That is using the bundle, and this is the Merry Cafe Happy Cider Season that uh, coordinates with it. So I hope you like this project, you guys. Have a great rest of your week. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll have links to my blog and my online store if you're interested. And yeah, that's about it. So as always, great big hugs from me to you. Have a great rest of your week. Bye guys!